Hey everybody, Goose and Dummies back at it again for another video. This time talking about the deadly experiments of Dr. Eek. So this book is the fourth GYG book in the Give Yourself Goosebumps series. Obviously these are game books, uh, they're decently popular amongst the community, and not highly read, but highly recommended from time to time. And uh, <laughs> this is not one of the greatest ones, I'll tell you that. Um, going into this, I knew a few things, you know, that some people hated it, some people kind of liked it, I think, um, and yeah, I was, uh, surprised by the quality of this, I'll just say that. I thought this was gonna be a really fucking good one, uh, let's just say it wasn't fantastic, and, um, there's a lot of interesting stuff in here, and this book, like a lot of other GYG books, references other Goosebumps books, for some reason, this one references my hairiest adventure of all books. It's it's just very mixed. <laughs> oh god, this is a very interesting one. Let's just get to the blurb. And now for the blurb. He's out to take over your life. Top secret and dangerous. That's what your mom, a famous scientist, calls the research he's been doing at the labs of Dr. Eek. You're dying to know what it's all about. Then one day you get lost in the labs. Before you know it, you become a human guinea pig in Dr. Eek's deadly experiments. The title, you know. <laughs> if you choose one lab, you meet a dog wearing sneakers. He's half dog, half kid. Now he's after you. If you choose another lab, you get lost in a maze. A maze that just so happens to be a home of enormous rat. The choice is yours in this Goosebumps adventure that's packed over with 20 super spooky endings. Bigger boy, choose a air, give yourself Goosebumps. Oh boy. <laughs> um, so, at the time of recording this, this isn't the final GYG book I ever read. I still have well over like 30 to read. I think I've only read like 15 of the whole GYG series. Probably because they do take a, a time a great amount of time to read sometimes and they're hard to follow at times um well this is one isn't like insanely hard to follow this is the weakest gyg i have read <laughs> or ever the worst if you want to put it like that i don't think this book is horrible but uh it's definitely the, the just the least good gyg i have read all right um i wouldn't recommend it <laughs> it's definitely um surprisingly worse than twister of terror which i have not done a review at, at this time but you'll probably see one soon hopefully yeah this uig isn't fantastic at all it's pretty uh bad <laughs> yeah so let's start off with the positives shall we starting off with my positives there's actually two for being the weakest uig but there's a lot to go over with uigs if i were to explain the entire plot which i don't but the main positives, or rather the only positives, I'm going to start off with my big one. The endings. So, I think there's a lot more bad endings, but the good endings in this book were quite good. Most of them involve actually getting out of there. They're rather good endings. I think the actual, like, good endings where it's not something horrible that happens to you are good. I also like this virtual reality thing that happened. Uh, it's really interesting and neat. I haven't seen that much in Goosebumps. I probably would have gotten a lot of that in actually the, uh, the 53rd book, or sorry, the 51st book in the Goosebumps Give Yourself series, or in the series numbers 43, because um, that was apparently a virtual reality book. I'm just saying, pointing that out. But besides that, um, I think Oscar, which is my only other upside, is actually kind of cool, okay? Uh, Oscar, I believe he was a chimpanzee or something, he was interesting, I thought he was neat, I thought he was cool, kind of fun, and he was definitely one of the highlights of the book. Even if he didn't get too much time, it, it was interesting and neat for what he was. I think there's a very funny scene involving the vending machine, and this is a more comedic book, I think, uh, from memory. Yeah, th that vending machine scene got <laughs> had me dying of laughter, it was pretty funny. Uh, you know, if it was just pretty basic, it, it still just got a laugh at me, it's kind of wild. Anyways, that's about it for positives. There's not really a lot of things saving this book from being the rating it gets. And, uh, yeah, let's move on to the downsides. We might be here for a little bit. Starting my downsides off, I'm going to mention the notable lack of creativity I feel in this book. So this book wasn't insanely uncreative. I think there was some sort of slime substance that was kind of like monster, but kind of not. That was interesting. That's, like, the only creativity in this book, really. <laughs> This book is bland, which kind of blends into that too. There's not really anything interesting or different or cool, anything unique I can say about the book. 
uh, from overdue IDs. It's just a bland, oh, mad scientist, crazy laboratory storyline. Um, and speaking of mad scientists, that villain was pretty weak, honestly. Uh, one of the weakest characters I've seen in any of Goosebumps, really. Um, he was not a great character. And he wasn't even a monkey, like the cover would suggest. He was not a great character. I think he kind of sucked. And some of these endings, or rather a lot of these endings in this book were really bad. <laughs> See, one in particular I want to mention. One of them I don't even hate. I think it's just ironically terrible. Uh, but I don't hate it. it. As weird as that is. I know I say it's terrible, but I don't hate it. I think it's ironically kind of terrible. Like I keep saying. Uh, it may or may not involve Tarzan. And that's going to... That's where I'm going to leave it, alright? Scream of the Evil Genie does something similar with another animated character from Disney. I'll just say that. But this is way worse. <laughs> kind of funny? I don't know, man. This is... Uh, that was a very mixed ending involving Tarzan. I thought it was goofy, but a little too fucking goofy. But specifically the worst ending in all of this book. Besides all the plans and dumb endings I didn't really like. Um, let's just say a certain tickling involved ending was really fucking bad. That was horrible, man. I really hated that. Uh, <laughs> hell no. Nah. Fuck no. That was a pretty fucking bad ending. There's some other bad endings in here. Uh, I think there's one involving a pizza guy. Pretty fucking stupid. And lots of other dumb endings. I don't really like a lot of the endings in this book. There were some good ones, but a lot more bad ones. The book is also decently hard to keep track of. Uh, feels a little all over the place at times. And, you know, that's not a good thing to be completely all over the place. I know that's kind of the GYG thing, but it's a little too all over the place. Like, it's hard to actually read and keep track of if you're doing it that way. Which just affects my experience. I'll put it on as a downside, and that's not the intended way to read these books, I don't think. Is to read them all the way through. I like getting all the endings, because, you know, I can actually give a genuine review if I've read every fucking page of the book. And that's it for downsides. I could go on all day about the endings I hate and how bland the storylines are, but I've already mentioned all I needed to. Let's move on to the rating. I'm going to give this a decently generous 4 out of 10. I think the book pretty much just sucks, but it has some redeeming stuff. Tarzan thing I'm very mixed on. Uh, I, I, like, <laughs> I like involving realistic things, or not realistic, but real-life aspects in these books. But goddamn, uh... It's very mixed when it does happen. It's always some goofy shit. And it's been in two GYGs now. But still, most of the endings suck with a couple good ones in there. Uh, and they stick out more because everyone else sucks. <laughs> so, uh, I'll, I'll definitely uh, point out that they're definitely not the greatest endings of all time. They don't redeem the book to that extent. And uh, the villains suck. The plot was lame. Uh, the dog maze entirely, that, whatever the fuck that was, was really dumb. I didn't really like that. And, uh, yeah, this book lacks creativity, and it's just not a fucking good book. But 4 out of 10, I feel that's generous, but it had some stuff that I thought was redeeming about it. And, yeah, that's it. Uh, that's, that's my opinion on the deadly experiments of Dr. fucking Eek, man. Hell no. Hope you guys enjoyed this book review. Tell me what you think of this book below. Do you love it? Do you hate it? I'm expecting a lot of hate. <laughs> it's just saying a good one, man. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.